We are back for the final episode, and we are here to complete the final nine challenges. If we take a look at the NPC in the lobby, uh, if I quick hover over them, you will see one win with all of them. And we will go ahead and start the last nine on the second page here. Unfortunately, I can't look at what every single one is because they're locked, but as we complete the last five that we see here, uh, the rest will be unlocked. Um, but I'm pretty sure every single one of these is going to be pretty dang difficult. We're just going to take it one at a time, starting with the old man challenge where we can only walk. There's no sprinting allowed. I'm going to change my uh, controls right now. My sprint key is normally R. I'm just going to go ahead and clear it out so it is set to no key at all. Now, I'm a little worried about W tapping because when you W tap, it starts your sprint, and I feel like I'm gonna fail the challenge because of that. And unfortunately, I don't think that that is something you can turn off. Hey, it's me, Way from the Future. What's up? So, while I was recording this challenge, uh, I accidentally sprinted. I must have accidentally double tapped W, and I didn't notice. So, that's why at the moment, uh, all of these are completed because I moved on after doing the old man, but I guess I didn't successfully do it. I must have accidentally double tap W at some point and sprinted. Anyway, that's why these are done. So I'm gonna do the old man one now, and then I'll show you all of these games afterwards. Anyway, let's let's get into the old man one. But yeah, we're just gonna buy a bunch of blocks and a TNT, and I'm gonna go for this first rush here. I'm just gonna build way up, I guess, and we'll see what happens. Luckily, my speed bridging and jitter bridging and all that, it doesn't change whether I'm sprinting or not. Um, the actual PVP aspect of me hitting people changes a ton so i just need to be aware of that let's go ahead and hide these diamonds from red team and i'm just gonna walk on over uh nice and slowly hello sir hello i'm just gonna build up over you i i don't want to fight mainly because i can't so so let me just drop the tnt i can break this bed and then hopefully we can get somewhere from that i guess so tnt down and do that and, I mean, we traded two hits, so that's something, I guess. I, I was really hoping to grab some diamonds. This guy's probably gonna... Oh, he's gonna TNT... Nope. Okay. I was gonna say he's TNT jumping over to me. But it seems he's not doing that. He's just TNTing his bridge. But that doesn't make sense, because now he's bridging. I, I'm confused. Anyway, let's, uh, let's go spend these diamonds. I'm gonna get sharp, I think. Sharp is probably more important than prot. I want to be able to kill them in as least amount of hits as possible, because I will generally only land about three hits in every fight because I'm walking. Sprinting is the most important part of Minecraft PvP. Okay, red team's just gonna goof around, or, and he fell off the edge. Whatever. So things aren't going horribly. Uh, I wish I had a little bit more gear at the moment, because I'm gonna need, like, a punch bow to win, I think. So I'm gonna take this time to head mid, and, uh... And collect emeralds. It looks like yellow was already there and must have collected a bunch of emeralds. Okay, green is here. Hey, green. I can't sprint right now. So can you boost me over to this island, please? <laughs> I really wish I block trapped him there. That would be great. <laughs> okay, looks like pink disconnected, which is fine, I guess, as long as green and yellow will fight each other. Um, I'm really hoping they fight each other because that would make my life a lot easier, at least. It looks as though yellow has diamond armor and jump boost. So I'm probably just gonna cry. Um, there's not a, there's not much hope here. I'm really hoping the green team disconnects, or not disconnects, uh, takes out yellow bed, which green should be able to do, seeing as yellow's not at their base. Green just has to run on over. Yellow's now gonna come for me. Um, and is green gonna come for me too? Green, green, please make better decisions. You want to win the game. The best way for you to win the game is to go to yellow base. Who's chilling over here at the moment? Um, hold on. I have diamonds hiding right here, so I'm just going to protect those real quick. Please get off the edge. Get off the edge. I actually got a kill. I actually got a kill. Okay. This is very good for me. They have seven diamonds. Oh, it's because they picked up my little stash as they were falling into the void. Um, let's head back to our base. I have one emerald. No! Green, please, you have to make better decisions than come for me. Yellow's gonna win if you do. Oh my god. Oh, this is so upsetting. Okay, well, let's go ahead and buy uh, two levels of prot. I guess I'll buy minor fatigue now that that's gonna help at all. And in comes green. Hello, green team. Are you feeling good about yourself right now? You're taking out the guy who can't sprint. 
Yep. Very good. Okay, you didn't... And he legged back. Wonderful. It's very good to have that feature in the game, personally. I, I love that. Uh, and now green is going to lose their bed to yellow. Uh, which will then lose the game for both of us, because I can't take out yellow alone. Um, green wants to kill me. I guess. They're just going to gap again. And... I got the kill. They're going to go back to their base. And yeah, green's about to lose the fight. Great. So now it's just me and the diamond armor guy on yellow. This is exactly what I wanted. I don't want to drink up jump boost just yet. Um, I'm hoping to drink it once yellow team is near me. But I suppose I'll start walking to yellow base and maybe break their bed. Uh, if they void, that's fine. I'll just turn around. Um, I don't want to make any far jumps or I'm going to miss. Okay, I really want to buy things. Yep, okay. Yellow, if you want to stay at yell at your base, that's fine by me. I don't need to be near you. I don't want to be near you. Uh, if I'm near you, I die. And they're going to chase me down. That's probably the smart play for them. Maybe they know that I can only walk. Um, I'm just going to build straight up. Again, my win condition here is I need to get to a base. I can buy up a punch bow. And if there's gold at that base, I can also buy a bunch of arrows. And then I can win from there. But for now, if I can't get to a base, I lose. They have fireballs, which I'm surprised they haven't. They weren't throwing them already. Okay, so yellow team is all the way over at Aqua right now. So let me drop down here. And I'll buy up a punch bow as well as prot 3. And we might be able to get somewhere, but I think they went invis potentially. But we'll we'll see what we can do, I guess. Um, they have jump boost. Please die. Please die. Oh, I'm, I'm missing them. I'm missing. The fact that I can only walk right now really sucks. Please die. I hit him. I hit him. Die. How are they alive? I don't have fireballs. I just got to keep him back. Just got to keep him back. Just keep hitting him with a bow. Get off the edge. Did I, I did the challenge that time, right? I did, is that the second time? I'll, I'll go check in the lobby. Yes, okay. A success on that challenge. I had to do that one twice, which was not fun. <laughs> but uh, but we're good. And I guess that will bring us to capped resources. We're on crypt, and I feel like I haven't played on this map in forever. It must have been removed for a while. Um, but we are currently doing the capped resources. So similar to the Patriot challenge, you can only use items from your own resource generator, meaning you can't get M's or diamonds during this challenge, and it's going to be awful. Um, I also can't pick up any items from enemy players, so if they drop any items when I kill them, that will also do me no good at all. Um, and then the main difficulty of this challenge, when I buy items from the shop, um, there's a certain, there is a limit of items that I can buy. So pretty much when I... Oh, nice block extension. When I um, buy, say, three sets of wool from the shop, um, I don't know how many the cap is, but eventually it's not going to let me buy wool anymore. So I need to be very careful with how much I'm carrying around, because eventually I'm just going to run out of things to buy, and I'll have to fight the rest of the game with just a wood sword. Also, we are just trading hits. <laughs> yeah, but this is where the struggles come in. I can't pick up any of their iron or gold from what they dropped. So I just have a bunch of blocks and a TNT, and I'm just gonna go around and try to take out bases quickly. I really wanna be able to get into fights before they buy diamond upgrades, or even worse, emerald upgrades, such as diamond armor or potions. Um, it looks like green already has iron armor. I do not. I'm very far from being able to purchase that. Are they going to come mid? They fell in the void, actually. Um, so I don't know how that happened, but I'm gonna let it be. I'm not gonna ask any questions. And we're going to head to green base. And if I can get above them, I can probably get their bed. But it's a matter of if I can do that. And I'm going to build up. He's also building up. I think we're okay, though. Did I kill him? I did. And I'm going to go ahead and deposit my wool and TNT. Because if I die here, which I feel like I might, seeing as he has iron armor, um, I don't want to lose all those things that I have. Because, again, eventually it's not going to let me buy a... Uh, oh, I actually got the kill. Eventually, it's not going to let me buy any more resources, so I'm going to jump in the void to get back to full health as well as get back to my base. Well, let's see how close we are to iron armor, because that will be real nice. I'm actually only one iron or one piece of gold away, so let's just grab that. And then I, I think it's best to buy um, a pickaxe and an axe. And I suppose I can start heading to the next base. Again, I want to be able to kill everyone 
before they get a bunch of diamond upgrades, Gray is going to have diamond gen upgrades. Actually, hold on a sec. Gray just killed Aqua. I don't know where at, but I'm going to go get Gray base. And if Gray could take out Aqua team, then that'll make it so I'm the only uh, the bed left in the game. And then I might just be able to win from that. So let's go ahead and break this bed. And I'm just going to buy some more wool. Oh, all right. So there we go. As you can see in the sh in the uh, chat there, uh, I've reached my purchase limit. Uh, I can no longer buy wool for the rest of the game because I've bought too many, which is fine by me. I mean, obviously, it would be nice to have wool, but I don't think I've wasted any blocks of wool. I, I've, I don't think I've died a single time yet. In, well, I've died, but I haven't lost any of my uh, items. So now when I need blocks, I'll have to buy endstone or even possibly hardened clay, <laughs> which is just going to be wonderful. So let's go ahead and buy a knockback stick. The reason I'm buying that is because when people are going to be out gearing me, again, they're probably going to have diamond gen upgrades. So they'll probably have sharp or something. I just need to be able to smack them off real quick without having to get into a real fight. Gray fell in the void and gave me the final kill. Um, works for me. It's me and Aqua Team. So it's time to find out if uh, my KB stick is powerful enough. They're over at white, but they are going to start coming for me. Never mind. They have a fireball. Nobody stands like that without a fireball. I'm watching you. Oh, okay, there we go. There it is. Oh my god. That stupid little hole. Oh my god. Okay, well, can we buy another one? We can. Perfect. And, okay, you can only buy... Oh, wait, wait. It tells you how many purchases you can buy of everything. Okay, that makes more sense. I can only buy one purchase of hardened clay? Alright, well, hopefully I can get the kill here because it seems as though I have 16 blocks left. And, um... Then I'm gonna have to, like, start using glass and endstone to get kills. Please don't have more fireballs, please. <laughs> Get out, get out of here, please. Thank you, thank you. He's dead, he's dead, he's dead. So that really sucks. I'm going to be so low on blocks. Okay, let's see if I can smack this guy back. He fireballed. Okay, that works for me. Um, I don't have shears, and I really wish I had shears right now. I want to step back one. Oh, I can't pick up my own. If I had shears, his bed's gone. I drop down right there. Shears breaks it quick enough. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to run up the side of his island. And I'm fine waiting this out. If he wants to come after me, he can. I think he's going to run up after me. Get off the edge. Okay, KB stick is good enough. This up. And he probably wants to fight. Should I... I could put my KB stick away and fight him. Okay, he's just going to leave. Um, That's fine. Should I chase or should I go back to my base? I think I'm going to chase him down. Um, He might make it all the way to my base, which would be very unfortunate. But at the moment, he has nothing. Because he just... He left his base and ran. So if I can just take sharper corners than him, I'll catch up. There we go. And he's off the edge. Yeah, that was uh, that challenge wasn't too bad. Um, it could have gotten really bad if that that game went on for longer. But just be very careful about um, like dying with wool. Like only carry a little bit of wool on you at a time. Zyph bad. Fair enough. <laughs> uh, I'm leaving to do a new challenge. And red light, green light. Okay, I I saw about this one. This one's gonna be very tough because at random intervals, um, you just won't be able to do anything. You'll have to stand still. And it could always be at a really bad time. Okay, so this is what it's going to look like. Red light in 3, 2, 1. Don't move. And I have to... Can I do this, by the way? Okay, so I'm going to slowly figure this out. So I can, like, move my camera all around. I probably just can't move my actual character. So I can move my camera around when it's a red light. But I should just be very careful about moving my actual character. I'm going to go ahead and grab the two diamonds here. And let's go defend my bed as this guy... Oh, no. Wait, I failed the challenge? Okay, so I'm going to quick win this game, and then we will uh, resume next game. Any movement at all will kill you. So even if, you're, if you get smacked by another player when it's a red light, I think that counts as you moving, and then you lose. So you need to be, like, far from everyone. I'm assuming that also means if you're falling into the void... Um, that move, that will kill you if it becomes a red light, um, even if you're not moving yourself. Because what happened there is I jumped and let go of my keys, um, and then it said I failed the challenge. Please break, break, break. Good. Dude, that bed defense is so stupid, literally. So many people do the wood wool bed defense, but it's just like... You can punch it down in the amount of time it takes to respawn. Why do you do anything more than one layer of wool? Okay. 
If this guy hits me, do I fail the challenge? Wait, how did I fail the challenge? Wait, hold on. That's not fair. Get down from there. Get off the edge. <gasps> I failed? Are you serious? What is that? Okay, so I really... Okay, here's a red light. I'm not moving, I swear, game. Please don't make me fail. This game is very brutal with uh, moving during red lights. So if I get hit with an opponent TNT while it's red light, I fail the challenge. But I think if I get hit by a player during red light, I don't fail the challenge. All right, Pink, you gotta, you gotta hold on for one second here. Okay, good. Well, I was hoping to hit him off, but uh, that's fine too. Red light kind of uh, ruined me there. Great. Let's go grab this generator. No, don't come back here. Don't come back here, please. Yeah, stay away. Stay away. Good. Oh, I got the kill. GG. Okay, red light in three, two, one. I'm standing still. I swear I'm not hitting anyone. Um, I'm too nervous to... Because I'm going to go get a punch bow, I think. Again, they're overpowered and it's a way to get through like every single challenge. But I'm nervous to shoot the bow during red light because technically I'm not moving my character around, but I am performing a certain action. Okay, three, two, one. Can I shop during this? Looks like I can. I'm just testing things out. I'm figuring out what I can and can't do. Let's head mid and grab some emeralds. I'm going to need invis, I think. And then maybe I can go invis during red lights and, <laughs> and nobody will see me. Can I be shifted during red lights? Should I test it out? I don't really want to test it out. Okay, I can move again. And I'm just going to make a break for red base. I, I saw them around mid. They're probably going to go for obsidian, which would be very bad. Um, imagine breaking obsidian during a, a red light. Okay, hold on. I'm testing this out. Okay, you can shift during red lights without failing, which is a good thing to know. So when, like, a red light happens, I could shift behind a wall, potentially. And let's go ahead and quick uh, grab this bed. Perfect. Fireball. Hiya. And I smack him around. He smacked me around. Never mind. I deflected it. And red team out of the game. Um, he must have already spent all of his emeralds because I know that he collected some, but I didn't pick any up from him. Red light again. I'm not moving, I swear. I swear, game, I'm not moving. Okay, green light, and we will now start heading to the next base. I see yellow and blue have taken out their first rush. I'm gonna go for yellow, I think, first. Actually, it looks like yellow's bridging to blue right now. As long as they leave me alone, we're good. Okay, I'm gonna start bridging out to yellow base. I'm, I'm expecting a red light soon. So, okay, here we go. Let me just stand here. Um, I really wish I could go break yellow bed. It's right there. It's so close. Uh, here we go. Here we go. Green light. I can move. And to yellow base we go. I want yellow to void. Yellow should void right now. Please. Void. 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 Jump in the bait. Jump in the void. Jump in the void. Red light. Okay. I'm not moving. I'm not moving. We need one kill and it's over. I don't have a bed either, so it's a little bit unfortunate. Okay. I have invis and a knockback stick. If I can catch this person near an edge, that's game over. I can win. Um, but it has to happen during a green light. Here we go. I can move again. And we need to find yellow team wherever they may be. Uh, I see them right now, which is very good. Let me run to mid. Um, if I have a well-placed fireball, I could potentially kill them. Let's go. That's game. That's it. It's over. Let's go. He said, bruh. Wait, if I run right now, do I fail? I'm not going to try it. But, because I, I already won the game, but it gave me another red light. Like, with that... Would that make me fail the challenge? Okay, hold on. Now we're leaving. <laughs> okay, we have slow reflexes here. You can only hit enemies once every two seconds. Let's go ahead and activate that and jump into a game. Punch bows, fireballs. Those are the name of the game here. Um, without being able to get any combos on people, only hitting them once every two seconds, it's going to be very difficult to do anything PvP-wise. At least close quarters, that is. As you can see, it actually shows the bar of, uh, it re of my two seconds recharging. Um, so this is how fast I can hit. Oh my goodness. <laughs> and what's crazy is, like, if I miss a hit, for example, say, uh, I'm going in for a swing and the very first one I miss, I still, it still is gonna make me recharge. Aqua is side rushing. Oh my goodness. The man just side rushed on Skyrise? Excuse me? It's fine, because they were supposed to rush me, and they didn't. So I'm okay if they rush other people. Let's go ahead and, uh... Break this bed. Good. I'll go ahead and grab Prot and a trap. An Aqua team fell in the void as well. So that is my first rush out of the game. Um, are they around? They placed some blocks around mid. I'm going to try to make my way to red base, 
but I actually I'm definitely not going to be able to. I don't have enough blocks, I don't think. So I can place that and that, but yeah, it's not enough. So we'll have to come back later, I guess. For now, it looks like they're going to chase me, and uh, I don't I do not want to get in this fight whatsoever. So let's head up here. He has a fireball. And again, I can't I already swung, so I can't hit him again. We're leaving, we're leaving. We're good. We made the jump. And I'm going to throw these off because I know for a fact that he's going to uh, kill me. <laughs> so we'll just try to jump down here. And is he going to chase me? He is. Yeah, since I missed my very first swing there, it made it so I couldn't hit him at all. So this is going to be very difficult. I wish the cooldown only started after you actually hit a player. Oh my god. Alright, fine. Take my bet. I don't care. It, it literally don't care. And then they fell in the void. But yeah, there's no stopping someone from breaking my bed since, again, I can only hit them once every two seconds. And chances are, the very first swing that I go for, I'm going to miss. So, it's pretty much just, you're not able to hit players. That's kind of what this challenge should be. Or at least hit players with, you know, a sword or a fist. KB sticks, I don't think are going to be all that helpful. Um, initially, I thought they were going to be. But again, I'm probably going to end up missing the very first swing that I go for. Seeing as I always start, you know, spam clicking for PvP a little bit before I actually get into that PvP encounter. But I think what we need to do here is um, punch bow, as many arrows as we can buy. Let's do jump invis, and then I guess I'll buy prot too. I would do sharp, but sharp is going to provide absolutely nothing for me. And then I guess more fireballs. Um, fireballs never hurt. And if I can smack them off with a fireball, boy will I. Okay, red's yelling about something. Okay, so red jumped in the void after breaking blue bed and taking them out of the game. I'm going to go invis and start heading towards them. If I can, like keep them at their base with a punch bow, then that'll work for me. What happened to red bridge? Excuse me, dude. Are you just fireballing the freak out of your bridge? I, I don't know what's going on here. Off the edge. I missed. Okay, we're just going to try to stay away here. I'm just going to jump up. And... I was unable to uh, punch bow him because of ladders. I'm just going to keep punch blowing this guy. Hopefully I can kill him. He's on very low HP. And he's dead. Okay. We just got to do that one more time. Here we go. Punch pose OP. Punch pose OP. Stay away. Stay away. We're good. All right. Look, I tried my best with what I was given. <laughs> it's very good to have that one done. Uh, we have, let's go ahead and claim that. So yeah, for that one, just don't get in PVP encounters. Uh, only hitting players once every two seconds, very difficult. Just get a punch bow. You can probably win that way. Okay, so pacifist. This one will be very tough as well, but for this one, you can only use utilities to deal damage. So you're trying to kill people with iron golems and fireballs. TNT, silverfish, bridge eggs. So this one is going to be very difficult. Let's see what we have access to here. In the utilities, we have golden apples, bed bugs, dream defenders, fireballs, TNT, ender pearls. I think water, milk, sponge, pop up tower, none of those are going to be all that useful. Bridge eggs can be used for kills. I don't think it gives you the kill afterwards, but technically you can egg people off the edge. Um, but it looks like the only thing I can kill people with is fireballs. Dream defenders are just too expensive to really spam. Maybe if I make it to very, very late game, I can start spamming them on the ground. Um, but I think for the most part, it's just killing people with fireballs. I'm going to head to mid, and uh, we're going to start collecting some emeralds. I think the way I win this is buying a bunch of jump potions, maybe some invis, and killing people with fireballs that way. But jump potions are the key to winning. I'm going to need a way to consistently stay away from everybody and being able to spam blocks under me and build way up into the air is probably the best way to do it if i lose my bed it's not that big of a deal because there's no way to defend my bed without being able to deal damage um prot is going to be very helpful just because i can take some hits without immediately getting dropped and then i bought iron armor as well because it's something i guess there's not much else that uh that gold is useful for in this um, golden apples and TNT, I guess, but I don't really need TNT right now since I'm not going to be TNT jumping. I'm also not going to be breaking beds, so I don't need that. Golden apples, I suppose, are pretty good, but at this moment in time, I'm going to be trying to stay away from everybody anyway. I'm surprised I haven't lost my bed. It seems my first rush 
being red team, isn't exactly trying to kill me, which I'm okay with. I think they went for gray instead. I'm heading over to aqua team. They took out a base already, and they're not here. They're over at the far diamond gen over there. So uh, I'm cool with grabbing this bed. And unfortunately for this challenge, I can't resort to punch bows, um, seeing as they don't work either. I just can't deal damage. So with my nine emeralds, I'm doing jump, invis, jump, invis, and jump, invis. My bed is now gone thanks to green team, actually. It wasn't even, <laughs> it wasn't even red. That's funny. Okay, so at the moment, we have red and green along with myself left in the game. Um, red and green both have beds. So if they could fight each other for a while, I can just continue to stock up on resources. And then um, once one of them wins, I can go ahead and fight from there. But I'd prefer to not pick fights if I don't have to. Okay, so red just took out green um, over at their base. So I will run to red and break their bed. This will be a bedless game, um, which is, I mean, a good thing. But I still don't know how I'm going to kill anyone. Okay, so I have prod three. I have three sets of potions. I'm going to buy three pearls as well. I'm making, I'm trying to make it so if I struggle to kill this person, I will also be very difficult to kill. That is my goal here. I'm hoping I can spot them on a bridge and I can fireball them off for the win. This game could be easy, but this game could also drag on for a while. I don't know yet. Um, but again, if I can't kill this person, I'm, I have the resources to make this game last a very long time. Um, I'm going to keep collecting emeralds, so... If they keep getting away from me, I will just go ahead and pearl to a different base. I'll go invis and run past this person. I'll do whatever I need to do to keep the game going. And then eventually, I'll be able to catch them on a bridge and fireball them off. We're having a little stare down here. So, uh, what's up? Can I come over? <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> you can absolutely come over. Okay. <laughs> Maybe I was a little bit... Turn around and go into the gen. I swear, it's fine. It's totally fine. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to throw a fireball behind him. And that's game. Let's go. <sighs> GG. Uh, yeah, that one, I didn't really have any other way to kill them. You're just bad because you can't fight. No kidding. I couldn't. Fight! They have it exactly right. I was bad because I couldn't fight. Like, what else do you want me to say? The, the challenge was literally that I couldn't fight. <laughs> okay, looking at the next challenge here, we've done Pacifist. We are moving on to Master Assassin. Um, I can only break the bed of my assigned target. I can't damage any players other than my target team. I can't break any other beds until my target's entire team is dead. Which in solo, that just means the one target that I have. And after successfully eliminating my target team, a new target will be assigned. All right, cool. My first target is Aqua, which I think is... Yeah, that base over there, so like completely across the map. And then Pink is the only team not in the game, and they are down at the other end down there. I was really hoping the team next to me would be the team that started without a player on it, but it seems that is not the case. Here we go. I feel like this challenge is very, very similar to the last game that I played. Um, and that is, I since I can't deal damage, I'm going mid. And I'm just gonna hide from everybody. I'll probably go back and buy jump potions when I can. Um, it seems Aqua's actually gonna get eliminated from the game, funny enough. Well, potentially, since they just lost their bed. I just need to stay away from players. Hopefully red doesn't come for me. Oh, they're gonna come for me 100%. I'm gonna bridge to their base. Uh, no, wait, I can't. I, I can't break their bed. I'm so silly. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna go away. Away in this direction. I'm just gonna try to be the last player alive. Wait, who's my next target? Oh, my next target's white team. Okay. But yeah, I'm just gonna try to get the resources necessary to last forever in this game. Since I can't get kills, I'm just going to try and survive. Red team is super mad. Um, I can tell by their Minecraft skin. Their Minecraft skin is so angry right now. Look, just, it's fine. It, you don't need to come kill me. I, I pose no threat to you. You're not my target. You're not my target. Can you please go away? I beg. Um, me saying that will either make this guy feel better and leave, or it'll make him feel even more confident that he can kill me and he's going to come kill me. Okay, so white team is my target. He's down there, as you can see. I'm going to go to his base. <laughs> um, and this is going to be so much fall damage. Ouch. That took seven and a half hearts from me. Um, let's go break white bed. 
seeing as I can actually break white bed since they're my assigned target. And then I can also buy things while I'm here. Okay, got their bed. And let's leave. I gotta be aware of fireballs. They are not throwing fireballs, which is fine by me. And I think they're gonna buy some things. So let's go ahead and buy Prot. Oh, apparently I'm white's target, says them. I'm gonna drink jump and invis. And I'm just gonna try to get past this player and go back to mid. Um, goodbye. Perfect, white's gone. Let's go, let's go. All right, I actually took out a target, which is very good. I was expecting zero target kills until the very last player. Um, I'm just gonna buy a ton of blocks because I have a jump boost potion. So as long as I can stay away from players, we are good. Okay, Gray's here. This is really bad. We're just getting away, we're just getting away, we're just getting away. Gray, please leave me alone. I really don't need to, f you, we don't need to fight right now. We really don't. You're not my target. Um, but apparently I'm your target or something like that. Um, okay, I almost missed that jump, but we're fine. Uh, I just am going to try and get away. Is Gray chasing? Please, Gray, you don't need to chase. So if I see red team, I am able to deal damage to them. So if I need to fight them, I can. Um, but my jump boost potion is running out, which is very bad since I don't have another one. So I'm just going to try and make it back to my base here. Home sweet home. And it looks like we successfully did that. Is red away from their base? They might be. I'm going to head over to red. This might be a complete mistake, seeing as I could. I should probably just buy things first. But, uh, well, red bed gone. Let's go. Very good. I have minor fatigue. Not the not the worst thing in the world. Um, They have jump boost. They're going invis 100%. Pay attention to fireballs. Okay, we're good. I probably shouldn't have stopped there. And I'm just going to run. I'm going to run for a while. This is very bad news. They're just going to chase me down. And I just need to keep moving. I could probably get away from them. If they only drank jump, I don't know if they have speed or not. If they only drank jump, I can get away. Great team is here. Hey, boys. Look, we really don't need to fight right now. Okay, they're, they're actually fighting. They're actually fighting. Gray and red are. Um, I can get away. I can get away and buy things. Again, I'm going to try to buy just some jump boost. And uh, get away from this guy. I'm gonna, in fact, I'm only going to buy jump boost. Now, if red comes near me, I can just avoid them. And then how low is red team? Oh, red's so low. All right, cool. Another target eliminated. My last target is gray, and that's also the only player left in the game. This is working out very well. And I have a bunch of jump boost, so I can still get away if I need to. But I can fight this last guy if I really want to, and I think I do. I have prot three. Oh, they're right here. Oh, I wasn't ready for that. Oh, hold on. Go up, go up, go up, go up. Oh, okay, let's drink another jump boost. We're fine. And let's, uh, let's get away. Uh, I'm gonna go to gray base. Okay, that's not that bad of fall damage, honestly. They might have fireballs, so I should be aware of that. And I can just go ahead and break the bed. Cool. So I'm gonna drink some jump boost, and I'm gonna track this guy down. Um, hopefully I can go buy a tracker. Or, oh, wait, they're right here. Hold on. I'm going invis. They're spooked. They're spooked out of their mind. Get off the edge. Get off the edge. We're good. That's another challenge down. Uh, yeah, that one I played very similar to the uh, you can't deal damage with physical weapons. I mean, playing both of those like that is totally fine. Just I'm going to leave this game. But yeah, if you just want to avoid all PvP encounters until the very end, it's a very good strategy to win the games. Okay, so standing tall is you can't sneak during this challenge. If I crouch, the challenge will be failed. So let's go ahead and do that one. Okay, so we are doing the standing tall challenge, which is the no shift or no crouching. I've already done this multiple times on my channel, so uh, time to do it a third time of the no crouching challenge. How awesome. I already changed my shift key to a different one, so I won't accidentally press it throughout this game, because I am definitely going to try and press it at some point. Um, Let's see if my Jitterbridge is uh, is going to be okay today. I really hope so. Um, I don't know, though. Generally, to start my Jitterbridge, uh, unfortunately, we fail. To start my Jitterbridge, I generally shift to the very edge of the block. So it's going to be a little bit tricky starting off the Jitterbridge. Once we get it going, it should be all right. Okay, and we have successfully made it to the Diamond Gen. I'm a little bit low on blocks. Yellow team is also here. Now he's not. We're good. And let's go get his bed. Um, I see a lot of people putting down this bed defense, which is like some combination of wood and wool. And I really don't understand why people do that. Get off the edge. Okay, they're dead. They disconnected. <laughs> there we go. So now we can do that as well as buy more blocks. 
Uh, rooftop is a great map to do this challenge on because once you get to this diamond gen, you can get to most places without having to place very many more blocks. I'll have to place some more heading um, to the emerald gens over here, which is fine by me. But now that I'm here, I can, I can place very minimal blocks um, to get through the rest of the game. For example, I will go ahead and gr jump down to here. It should be a lot of fall damage, but it's fine. And then I can actually um, just run over to here as well. And uh, I'll fight blue if I can. They have no bridge? Okay, so I'm running low on blocks. Um, but I, again, I think it's fine because you really don't need that many blocks to make it around the map on rooftop. I should be able to make that jump perfect. And then we should be able to make it all the way back to our base as well just because I've placed so many blocks. Um, it looks like I won't be able to make it back to my own base. Actually, yeah, I should be able to. Um, I'm just going to need... Oh my god. I thought I was safe to grab that and walk forward because I was holding down shift. So I wouldn't fall off the block. There goes nine emeralds. I... Oh my god. What are you doing, dude? Don't be so silly. Okay, so um, let's just make our way very slowly towards uh towards pink here wow so sneaky dude that's crazy i didn't even see you how okay okay i mean i guess that's fine to hit me from that far away but uh but i was unaware that that was possible um okay please die oh my goodness his prot level is off the charts i could also just try to run to white base and collect more gear i'm unsure at the moment of what i should be doing if he can fall off the edge there, he did. Um, he called me a hacker, which is fine, um, seeing as he uh, railed me in that first PvP fight. He didn't buy more minor fatigue, so we are good. We are very good there. I don't have prot, so that probably explains why he's dealing so much damage to me. Yeah, his prot level is probably one, maybe even two. Um, my diamond upgrades are lacking. I had some, but I may have fallen off the edge with them. I don't remember exactly what happened. This game would be so much easier if I only didn't walk off with nine emeralds. <laughs> Just imagine. Imagine having nine emeralds and then not. Like, emeralds aren't super necessary to win. It's just, like, one of the things that you could use to win. Okay, now we each have prot and an iron sword. How do you feel about that one, huh? Good game. Very good game. Let's go. And then blue, I looked at earlier, and I think they're doing some sort of self-imposed challenge. I don't exactly know what they were doing, but let me head back there and show everybody uh, what's up. So we have blue team here. They're only building with glass and ladders. Is there a challenge where you can only build with glass and ladders? I don't think they're doing a Hypixel Bed Wars challenge. I think this is just some self-imposed challenge. I really do. Um, Because I'm unaware of any challenge that requires you to only build with glass and ladders? I don't know. Anyway, uh, and a KB stick as opposed to a sword. What challenge are they doing? Something. Good game. Uh, yeah, the no shift challenge really isn't that difficult. Bridging is a little tricky. If you can jitter bridge, then, then you should be okay. Uh, and then just try to pick a map like orchestra, rooftop. Um, I think Apollo's all right. Just something where you don't have to bridge a whole lot, and then you'll be totally fine. Okay, so we're doing the Protect the President Challenge. So if you look at it, one player on your team is selected as president. That would be me, because I'm the only player on my team. The Only the president can break beds, and since I'm the only player on my team, I have to break all the beds anyway. Number three, if the president dies, you fail the challenge. So I think this challenge is only... Just, I can't die. If I die, the challenge is over. Anyway, since I don't need a bed, um, seeing as... When I die, the challenge is over. I'm just going mid, and I'll start collecting resources from there. Where's the diamond gens, by the way, on this map? Aren't they, like, all scattered around mid? I think they are. And I'm just going to bridge to yellow, seeing as they already took out a base. So I want to take out them. It only seems fair. My bet is now gone because of white team. Um, That's fine, I guess. Let me go ahead and buy iron armor, stone. I already had a stone sword, so that was a waste. Okay, I'm going to head to mid. I'll probably have to fight this guy here, which works for me. Please don't fight me at the diamond gen. Okay, that's fine. They gapped. They're getting the weirdest hits. Okay, 
Let's go back mid. And they already fell in the void, which is fine. We break this, break this. We can leave. Okay, okay. And they disconnected. Oh my god. The sweat face was real during that, which is awesome. Let's uh let's go ahead and try to win this game. I don't know if they I don't know if they were the best player in the game. I hope they were, because I don't want to fight anyone better than that. I mean, I can if I need to. Hey, red team, you don't see me, right? Hey, you don't see me, right? Okay, I'm going to grab these and leave. Uh, I'm a final kill, so I'm guessing I'm very appetizing to red team. They're throwing fireballs. That's okay, I guess. I'm going to keep running back to my base. Um, there's no reason red wants to kill me, right? Like, neither of us have beds. Isn't great team the threat here? As usual, I seem to be whatever the person that everyone wants to kill. I don't have a bed. Maybe he thought I had a bed, so I was the person to target here. Okay, we got another kill. Gray fell in the void recently, so that is another player down. Let's go ahead and collect some gear, maybe. Hopefully, uh, this person named Cactus isn't very good, because I would personally like to win this challenge. Okay, we're heading over to Red Base. Uh, this will be our new home for now. Uh, I killed them, so it's only fair that I can take their home. I think that's how it works in real life. Okay, here's my current hotbar setup. I have my full set of tools. I bought a pearl and a jump boost potion, so that should get me somewhere. Uh, and then we have Gray Team over here, probably looking to fight. Um, let's see if they have fireballs. I feel like they will. The iron does spawn pretty quick on this map. Um, oh, I, I oh, <laughs> well, they fell in the void. <laughs> Okay, works for me. Let's uh, let's start heading over to their base. I feel like they've fallen in the void a lot this game. <laughs> I mean, navigating mid is kind of difficult, so I don't blame them. Do they have fireballs? I don't know if they do or don't. I almost killed my... Oh, they fell in the void again. I was wondering where they went. <laughs> I'm going to drink a jump. Goodbye. Just kidding. I don't want you buying anything, so uh, yeah, come here. Come here. Hello, sir. Time to fight. Big 1v1. Are they giving up? Yes, indeed they are. Let's go. That's another good win. Um, yeah, that challenge isn't that difficult, especially in solo. If you're playing in fours, then it's a little bit tricky, but... Well, actually, no, because in fours, you just have someone sit at... No, wait. Hold on. Because you, because they have to break all the beds. Yeah, just play it in solo. Solo, you should be able to survive the whole game. And I've done every other challenge here let me uh, claim some rewards perfect and the very last one can't touch this i have to win a game without taking damage if i fall in the void it's over my team must break at least one bed to complete the challenge okay this is going to be very interesting let's uh let's go ahead and do it okay so here we go the ultimate bed wars challenge beating the game without taking any damage whatsoever. My strategy for this clearly is going mid and getting a punch bow. I need to keep everyone as far away from me as possible. Do I go for red? I probably shouldn't. So in the challenges, uh, it states that I do need to break at least one bed to complete the challenge. I can't just sit around and let every bed break and then just go in to punch bow them off. I need to break at least one bed. I realize that a bed defense doesn't entirely help me here seeing as if I take any hits, I lose the challenge anyway. So I guess it doesn't really matter. But here we are in mid, and we will go ahead and try to just collect as many M's as possible. Again, I'm hoping for six. And then that way, we can go ahead and buy ourselves a punch bow to keep everyone at a distance. I can't take any hits of damage. The things that I look for in a map for this, um, like Orchestra is a great one. Steampunk, I think, is a pretty good one. I want big maps that have a lot of flat ground that I can run away on. Those are the things that I look for, um, which is why Cascade came to mind. Um, also, with this map, there are so many holes around mid that uh, you can potentially um, punch bow people into. So that's another reason why I was like, this map is probably the best one. Um, 
the reason I'm not doing orchestra or steampunk is just because they're not in the rotation right now. And that's literally the only reason. If they were in the rotation, I'd probably pick those over this one. Um, so yeah, it's just not possible to play on those maps. Either way, there goes my bed to yellow. Um, I'm actually going to head over to yellow base and break their bed if I can. They're all the way at my base, so they're kind of far away. Um, so I should have enough time to get over there. Uh, I should have enough blocks as well. So let's try to get to their base and break their bed real quick. It looks like we will be able to. Um, I don't know what this bed defense is. Why did they make it so I was able to break two pieces of wool? Doesn't that defeat the point of putting any wood on your bed defense at all? <laughs> anyway, with the iron that I have, I'm just going to buy arrows preemptively um, for once I do get a bow. I would buy iron armor, but again, if I take any hits, I lose anyway. Fireballs are very dangerous to use because they could deal damage to me. So I need to be very careful while using them. Diamond upgrades aren't all that valuable. I guess I can get prot and sharp. Neither I shouldn't be hitting anyone with the sword. If I am, I'm doing something wrong with this challenge. Um, and then prot doesn't help because again, if I take any hit of damage at all, I lose. So what can I buy? Like, I guess I'll buy prot anyway and sharp, but there really isn't any good team upgrade that you can get. Um, this is actually looking insanely winnable right now, which is very surprising. So I have... My boy Poop Butt Fart on pink, who has a bed, as well as white, named 15VR. I'm really needing white team to take out pink. It looks as though pink wants to come for me, which I think is okay. I could get with a, I could get hit with a fireball at any point here and uh, go ahead and lose this whole challenge. Um, we made it to this base. I'm just going to keep running. Uh, I really need to shoot them off. Okay, they're dead. This is very good. White looks like they're making a push towards pink base. Go white, go, please. Because uh, I have the punch bow. So if we... Yeah, there are no more beds left in the game. I just need to get two kills. And then that is the end of the game. We have white who just completely flawless pink. Holy frick. Here we go. We're trying to land a bow shot. Oh, that would have been so close. All right, I'm drinking some jump boost just because I'm worried. Okay, we each drank our jump. They're throwing fireballs, but little do they know that their fireballs are a lot more threatening to me than anything I could do to them. Uh, I'm just going to shoot them again and run. I uh, he hit me. Hold on, I need a moment. Okay, here we go. Yet another attempt at this wonderful challenge. Um, as usual, I'm gonna wait for two stacks of blocks. That way I can make it to mid and also around mid without running out of blocks. See, Aqua Team isn't rushing me yet, which is very good. And I'm just gonna head straight to mid. Um, again, I'm hoping to get six emeralds before a bunch of people make it to mid. That way, that way I can keep everyone at a distance whenever they come near me. It looks like Aqua is probably going to start rushing me soon. Yeah, it looks like they'll do it now. And since there's not much else to do with my time, since I have to wait 47 seconds for the next emerald to spawn anyway, I'm just going to head straight to, uh, to Aqua base, seeing as they're going to rush me. I'll go ahead and take their bed out. That way I technically don't need to worry about um, breaking beds for the rest of the game. I'll get my one out of the way now. Perfect. Even though they went straight to my base, I somehow was able to break their bed before they break mine. <laughs> That's kind of silly. Okay, so hopefully they stay in my base for a while, which I, I really hope they do, because I need a little bit more time to collect the emeralds um, before I can take any fights at all. Three seconds here, and we have the second emerald. Good. And then let's go ahead and grab these two as well. It looks like green's going to come mid, which isn't good for me at all. I need... I kind of want to go to their base and take out their bed, but at the same time, I really need a punch bow before I do that. And then I'm going to try to make it back to my base, seeing as I have all the emeralds needed for a punch bow. I don't have very much gold, unfortunately. Troubling part of playing on this map is the amount of fireballs. Since it's a fast iron, I feel like a lot of people will have fireballs and just start chucking those around, and it's really tough to avoid taking zero damage from fireballs. Getting hit by a fireball at all just obviously makes me lose because uh it's the challenge so i am near green do we see them anywhere do we see green anywhere at all 
I don't. I'm gonna head to their base. Uh, yeah, they just took pink bed out. So I'm. Oh wait, if I break green bed here, which I think I can. Um, that is. It's a bedless game now. It's a bedless game. Perfect. Okay. And then, come on. They're gonna have fireballs. I just. I'll get a jump boost, I suppose. And it's just. Come on. This is super winnable. Literally just knock a couple people off the. Yeah, one person off the edge. Scratch that. One person off the edge, and we seal up the win here. They just killed Pink, so they're probably near that base, so I'll start running over there. Okay, I see them there. I see them there. I'm going to buy a tracker so they can't sneak up on me. Um, I would like invis and pearls and all that, but a tracker is very important. Again, we need to make sure that this guy stays as far away from me as possible. Does he see me? Hey, look. I know that you maybe just saw the bow, but like you understand that like I really don't have a bow despite you literally just seeing me a second ago with a bow in my hand. I'm gonna throw the fireball. Uh, once he turns back, I'm gonna throw it there. And I think that's game. I think I did it. He threw so... <laughs> okay, you heard those three explosions and one landed right here. He was trying to get me to take that tick of damage before falling in the void. I think that's it. Yeah, true challenger five. Let's leave. He cusses me out in chat. I understand. I would also, I wouldn't actually do that, but I'd also be mad if I got fireballed off as a final kill. <sighs> true challenger five, complete all 30 challenges. Feeling good. Those challenges really sucked, but let's take a look. We have all of these here done. I'll hover over these as well. One win, and those one win all in solo mode, which sure says something about me. Um, yeah, that's all I can say. Just says something about me. And claim Elder Guardian Victory Dance, Guardian Rocket Final Kill Effect, and Fire Spiral Projectile Trail done. Well, if you enjoyed this little series, um, feel free to like the video and possibly hit subscribe. Uh, these videos took very long to make, but hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you're curious in checking out the other challenge videos, there are two other ones. I'll link to them in the description. But anyway, we'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.